Hey yo everybody, Haku here with um, my top 10, this is the second part of my top 25, but my top 10 favorite arcs in all of One Piece, and um, I already had a video, I would say look in the One Piece playlist if you want to find it because it will be there, and it came right before this and it was numbers 25 through 11, but I understand that maybe not everybody wants to watch all of that, so here are the top 10 for those of you that only want the top 10 and not the others, and I'm going to go into a bit more detail than I did with 25 through 11. So, um, yeah, I guess that's about all I needed to say. Before I get into number 10, I want to say I'll, I'll probably throw a link to the first part of this in the, um, the description, just so you guys know, uh, first part here. But, uh, number 10... And again, I'm not going to, I said in the first part, I'm not going to spoil anything for anime-only watchers. So I'm not going to say anything about actual events, only how much I liked stuff. And I already got Dress Rose out of the way, so you don't need to worry about spoilers there. But the other one is number 10. It's Zoe. And I'm not going to give any Zoe spoilers, but I am going to say that, holy shit, <laughs> like... In just the short time it's been around, and we don't even know if it's really completely over or not, Zoe is definitely, what, like, it's in my top 10. It's number 10. Zoe is great. And depending on how things go, if it does continue on and more stuff happens, it could even get higher than number 10. Number 9, I don't know if you guys are going to like this or not, but I put an anime filler arc at number 9. In my top 10 favorite arcs and all of One Piece, the G8 arc is number nine. The G8 arc, watching the anime was so good and it fits so well. Just the feeling of them being trapped in this base and the way they're trying to escape, trying to blend in, they keep getting split apart and joining together. It was so good and I really, really loved the ending too. And there weren't very many fights. There weren't like, there were nearly no fights at all. It was just funny, the comedy was on point, and beyond being funny, it was, I just, I like the feeling of not having to rely on fights, relying more on, we just need to get the heck out of here, and trying to sneak out and stuff. It was Impel Down way before Impel Down was Impel Down. So, um, I love the G8 arc, and I really wish it was canon. Like, reading the manga after, um, having seen that in the anime, I was a bit disappointed that it doesn't exist, you know? G8 arc is great. Absolutely great. Number eight for me is one that's a lot of people's favorite, but it's going to be Marineford. Now, I really did like Marineford. I liked seeing all those characters, but I didn't quite like not getting all of our straw hats that we usually have. And for me, I don't know, war storylines in anime are usually good, but I think One Piece maybe did it the best way I've seen in uh, th this type of big, long-running shonen anime. But uh, I, don't, I don't know. It, it was really, really good. Definitely 8th overall out of like 42 or 43 arcs. But I don't, I don't know. There are things that I'm on and off about. It's mostly good in every single way. It's just that... I didn't have as much of a connection to it as the arcs that I ranked above it. Number seven for me is Thriller Bark. Now, I didn't think the fights won by, the individual fights were as good in Thriller Bark, but I think the fight against Oars is one of my favorite. I loved all the Straw Hats coming together to fight one big enemy as a team. That was a really cool concept and I, I just really enjoyed it. And I enjoyed the build-up and the setup for the arc as well. I thought it was really funny. I thought that the costume design was really cool for all of our characters. So, um, yeah, overall, I really enjoyed Thriller Bark and think it's one of the better arcs that we've ever had, number seven. Number six for me is a, a newer one, and I don't think a lot of people will have it as high on their list as on mine. But um, it's going to be Punk Hazard. I really loved Punk Hazard. I just, the setting was so cool. I thought the island itself was designed and looked so cool. I loved the uh, history of it with the fight between Akainu and Alkaji and um, with Caesar and the weapon and all of Vegapunk's experiments. 
I thought that Caesar was a really, even though he was annoying at first, he made a really good villain. The annoyingness made him more of a good villain because you liked seeing him get beaten up. But um, I thought that Monet and Virgo are great characters. Was sad to see them go, but um, man, they were good and they were good antagonists. It all worked. I love that Smoker and his group was there. They played a really cool role. The body swapping was cool. Law and Luffy's alliance being made was amazing. There's just so much good. All of the fights I thought were really good. Especially the Law vs. Smoker fight is one of my favorites. Um, and the same again with Law and Smoker vs. Virgo. That was awesome. And I, I like the ending a lot too and the way it tied into Dress Rosa. So definitely Punk Hazard is one of one of my favorite arcs, like way up there. Number six, like I mean it's a list, you can tell it's way up there. But um I, I just love it so much. I almost thought about putting it higher, but the other arcs on this list, the top five, I feel like they have more of a connection to me, I guess. Number five is Alabasta. Now before I get into Alabasta, I want to say what I meant by more connection with Punk Hazard is because it's older, or it's newer, and these ones are ones that I've known for a long time. They're ones that I saw years ago and loved, so they have, they've imprinted themselves on me more with time. And Punk Hazard just hasn't quite gotten there yet. But Alabasta arc, really awesome. I didn't, I didn't know it was going to be this high up on my list at first, but when I thought about the fights, I knew I had to because I absolutely loved every single one of the Straw Hats fights here. Especially, I've always been a huge <clears throat> voice crack. I've always been a huge fan of the Usopp and Chopper versus uh, was it Mr. Four and Miss Groundhog Day fight? I've always been a huge fan of that fight. I love uh, Bon Clay, Mr. Two. He's one of my favorite characters. So I loved his role in this arc. I really loved... Um, I didn't like Vivi and Karu that much. They were good, though. And, man, just this entire arc, I thought the beginning was a bit slow, but I think the fights alone put it up there. And especially one of my absolute favorite characters of all time, Crocodile. He was the main villain. I love Crocodile, and I love the fight between Luffy and Crocodile so much. All, like, both of the smaller fights leading up to the last one and the last fight so much. Like, and the anime did it so well. The anime did this entire arc really, really well. So, definitely... Oh, and we got to see Ace. So, yeah, definitely in pretty much every way that I know, Alabasta is an amazing arc. Number four for me was probably the one that I most connected to as a kid when I first saw One Piece on TV, the, the terrible English dub, but um, then re-watching it, how it was supposed to be watched with subs, but um, <laughs> re-watching it as an adult, I absolutely love it, and that's Arlong Park arc. The Arlong Park arc <laughs> is a tongue twister. It's so good, so awesome, very emotional for me. The fights are definitely some of the most memorable in One Piece, and I really liked how they were all going on at the same time, and they're all like sort of switching enemies here and there. Just, it was really enjoyable overall, and it's when we first saw Luffy and Usopp and Zoro and Sanji, when we first saw them doing really cool stuff and thought, you know, these are awesome. These are like these guys can be the next Pirate King's crew. They are all so great. They took down this huge crew, biggest crew in the East Blue. So definitely just all along Park Arc just is very deep set in my heart. Number three for me is Impel Down. While we didn't get to see our normal Straw Hats, I I just love the concept. It wasn't our normal formulaic go in, beat the bad guy or anything. I mean, One Piece is always more complex than that. But this took it totally different. We were just trying to break in and break back out. And we had a couple like big important fights here and there. But for the most part, it didn't focus on the fights. It focused on getting there and looking for Ace and getting back out. And that was awesome. And what really made it for me was all these new characters and the old characters and seeing Luffy team up with them. 
seeing Luffy with Buggy and Bon Clay was so amazing. Like, I was so happy through reading and watching this entire arc. And then especially when we got uh, Jinbei and Crocodile, and Jinbei and Crocodile are amazing. And of course, Ivankov. I love Ivankov. So, oh man, it's such a good arc. It's so great. I definitely love Punk, or I was about to say Punk Hazard. I definitely love Impel Down. Number two for me is the Sabati Archipelago. And that might be kind of an odd choice, but I loved meeting all of the supernovas so much. I love seeing this bigger world building sort of stuff going on. Seeing freaking Kizaru. Kizaru is so awesome. Meeting Rayleigh, another awesome one with the scenes in the um, freaking slave auction house. And then especially the... Um, I loved when Luffy, Law, and Kid teamed up against those marines. That was so good. So um, there's definitely a ton that I absolutely love about this. Then of course we get the emotional crew separation. Um, I don't just pretty much everything I bet I think about the Sabati Archipelago I liked. There weren't many like big special fights, but they didn't need them. And I catch myself looking at all these arcs, and the ones that I liked the most weren't the ones with the big special fights. They were the ones with these deeper, more interesting storylines. So, um, yeah, definitely 100% my second favorite of all time, Sabati Archipelago. Then, of course, if you couldn't tell already, my number one favorite arc in all of One Piece is Reverse Mountain. No, no, I'm just kidding. Reverse Mountain's probably, like, one of my least favorite. I really hated watching it when I was, uh... When I was first watching through the series. Seriously though, my number one favorite, NES Lobby. Uh, and I just said that the ones with the big fights weren't my favorite. But NES Lobby was so emotional and so freaking good. The fights were the best fights in One Piece. We have not, like, there have been good fights that stand up to them here and there. But as a broad general thing, no other arc has had the fights like NES Lobby did. Now, um, I'll definitely say that I do think the Rob Lucci and Luffy fight is the one that's been done best in the anime. Though the Crocodile and Luffy fight was done great too. Um, ah man, I don't know. It's just that CP9 were really good villains and just the whole setup of the entire thing was set up so well. It was so emotional. They were fighting against these impossible odds, to, and they somehow succeeded. It was so great. And then all the emotional stuff with the going Mary. And Mary's funeral is still, like, the saddest scene in One Piece to me. The, like, most emotionally wrought scene, in my opinion. 100%. There is no doubt in my mind. My favorite arc NES Lobby. Like, I feel like that might be a kind of common one, so I hate to just be a normal fanboy, but, um, man, I just, I can't think of anything better. Like, it's so good. And I really did go over all these arcs again in preparation for this list, and, um, NES Lobby just, it had to come out on top. So, I really thank you all so much for watching. Like if you liked the video, comment down there, tell me your favorite arcs, um, and tell me what you thought of my favorite arcs. Remember the part one to this if you haven't seen it, or I I don't know, I guess you want to watch it after you watch this one, I don't know. But uh, it is in the description, I'm going to throw it down there. But um, other than that, losing my train of thought here, oh yeah, subscribe for more One Piece, Tower of God, The Walking Dead, and a bunch more. I do a bunch of different content, so uh, check out the channel and subscribe if you want. Not telling you to do anything, just do it if you want. But uh, follow on Twitter if you want as well, because I do tweet out whenever I post a new video or if I need to push anything back. And that's everything. So I thank you all so, so very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed because it was a ton of fun to make, and I will see you all next time.